Hey, what's up, y'all? About to get into another, my favorite shoe of the year, period. It's the shoe I run in. It's the shoe I do my heavy bag work and my boxing and everything. Walking around, kicking it. My favorite shoe. So, let's get to it. It's an orange box. It's a Nike Epic. Make sure I show that. And the top has to swish. It's a size 13, but it's Nike Epic React Flynet. And this is a new color. And I've, you know, it's my first time getting my hands on this color. I've seen it at the store and stuff like that. Somebody requested it today, so it's ready to roll out. But it's the um, pure platinum and black. It's called the first blush, which makes a lot of sense once you see it. That'll make perfect sense. But the style code is AQ0067007. Um, the SRP is 150. The uh, UPC for size 13 is 826-218-405-464. And there's a 16 at the end. So what we have here, I'm going to go ahead and get this open and go straight in to look for my QC stamp and my QC sticker. And it does have the QC stamp. And move that over. Sorry about that. And the QC stamp is in red. It's actually a darker looking red. It's almost like a you know brownish red, but it's HN0103. Looks like a 01 and an 18. So we're gonna have to decipher that because it's a little bit different. Now I'm thinking it's 0103 18, but we'll see. So let's get the shoe out. The paper inside of the box. It's just the white with the lines on it. But there's the shoe. And that is a great looking shoe. Now, I wouldn't wear this personally. It's not for me. I can't pull it off now. Somebody else probably with a little bit more swag. Do people still use the word swag? Style. They could possibly pull it off. Um, it's like a mint color to me. It says pure platinum. But it looks like mint to me because of the green back there in the back. But... What I'll do is I'm going to go in straight to the tag and read it. And um, the production date is 0906-17-2-02-10-18. So I said it was, it looks like it's 01-03-18 possibly. The date isn't specific on the stamp. And this is like the second time I've had a stamp that wasn't in a sequenced order that was clear. But I see an 0103 which only puts us a month away from 210. And I think a lot of the times in January, when you have a production date that ends in January or February, because of Chinese New Year, the date is always going to be a little bit off because the Chinese basically take a month off from the factories. They're not really doing any production of any sort where they're not manufacturing. The only reason I know that is because when I made my shoe, if I designed the shoe in January and I sent it to them, I couldn't get the shoe into production until March. But that's that. Let's get this 360 on this shoe and wrap it up. And this one is my size. I wish I could keep it. I guess I would wear it, but I just don't know what I would wear it with. So there goes your toe. There goes your toe box. There goes the top. There's your left. Right. The one thing that I really like about this shoe is the way the... Um, rubber on the outsole, the gradient that they tend to use on a lot of the different colors. There goes your medial, and there goes your right medial. And that's what I was talking about. Now, obviously, nobody's going to be looking at the outsole of the shoe. I just think it's a really dope way to use this rubber compound at the top and at the bottom. And here is the heel counter. And you see the Epic React on the back. And then on the medial, you see that Nike that's there. And I might be a little bit mad with Nike right now, but this shoe is dope. And um, I'm hoping you other brands start stepping up, man, because right now, all we're selling is Nike shoes, and they just are kicking y'all. But, and I really like to do some videos of some other shoes, man, but stuff costs money. That's it. Let me pull this out and see if there's a sticker inside of the box. There's no sticker and I'm knocking stuff over. That's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.